When two objects are entangled with one another, they share a peculiar connection. For example, if I were to take these two molecules and entangle them with one another, I could then take them to opposite ends of the universe, and yet, they'd still be connected. Anything I did to this molecule would instantaneously affect this one. Einstein so disliked this concept, he termed it spooky action at a distance. Nein, ich mag diese spukhafte Fernwirkung nicht. Nein, nein, nein! Entanglement was the subject of some of the most vigorous debates between Einstein and Niels Bohr, and has played a profound role in the foundations of quantum mechanics. But what's entanglement good for? Well, using entanglement, two people can share secret messages between them. Or, you can use entanglement to build a super-fast computer capable of solving problems that today's machines can't handle. In fact, you can even use entanglement to teleport the information stored in a quantum system from one place to another. Pretend for a moment that I'm an atom. Then using entanglement, I could teleport the quantum information stored within me from here to here or here. Quantum entanglement is so strange, it's almost magical. And here to help explain quantum entanglement is special quantum magician, Dan Trometer. Thanks, Krister. Using this deck of quantum cards, Jamie and Krister will help me demonstrate the idea of quantum entanglement. First, I'll mix the cards, and then I'll have each of them mix the cards as well. But first, Jamie, please cut off about half of the cards, and then deal those into two piles, one pile for Krister, and one pile for yourself. This mixing process right now is, just, in a sense, a type of shuffling, mixing into two different piles. Now that you each have your own piles, you'll mix them independently. You'll deal as many cards as you like face down. Whenever you like, you can stop. Then you take everything in your hands, turn it over, lay it back down. Pick it up, and then do that again as many times as you like. Go ahead. Deal face down. Good. Fantastic. And you'll note that they're making independent decisions. Sometimes Jamie's just dealing a few, sometimes she's dealing more before she turns over. Same with Krister. Also note, Jamie stopped already. Krister continues to shuffle. Independent decisions. In fact, you could take these two different decks of cards, take them across the universe, and yet, because they're entangled, something very mysterious will happen. You would think that because of those independent choices and shuffling procedures, that they would have random orders. When in fact, if we look at the top card of Krister's pile, it's a black six. The top card of Jamie's pile is also a black six. Maybe a coincidence. Let's try it. Top card of Krister's is a red jack. Red jack. Red ten. Red ten. Fives. Nines. Eights. Threes, eights, threes, aces, and queens. Because they're quantumly entangled, they have a mysterious correlation. And that is quantum entanglement.